Hello and welcome to this presentation. My name is Lee Snyder, the product manager for the Steel segment here at Trimble. And what I'll be showing is a brief overview of the Linking Documents to Trimble Connect extension, which is available for download on the Tecla warehouse. What this extension allows you to do is to upload drawings, CNC files, or assembly or CAS unit IFC files, and link those to the respective objects within your Trimble Connect project. So when I launch this tool, if I'm already logged in, it will log me into Trimble Connect. It will give me a full list of all of my projects which I have available and it will also show me the IFC files which are available within those particular projects so that I can choose which IFC file I want to link these documents to. In this tool I also have the option to upload without linking so if I just want a quick easy way to upload this type of information to my Trimble Connect project I can use this tool. Here you can see the options that are available. I can choose to upload assembly drawings, single part drawings, CAS unit drawings, GA drawings, CNC files, or the assembly or CAS unit IFC files. I have the option to upload the entire model, or I can just upload for selected objects. I have the option to use existing PDFs, so if those drawings are already printed, I can just use those to upload and link to this Trimble Connect project. Or if the drawings aren't printed, this extension will go ahead and PDF print those for me, upload them, and then link them to the objects. I have two options here for my export mode. I have Add, which will just add information to the model. And then I have Reset, which will remove any information that it has previously uploaded and then it will just upload the new options that I have selected in the user interface. Once I have my options selected, I can just go ahead and click this button. It will then begin to PDF the drawings if it needs to, generate the CNC files, create the IFC files, upload those to Trimble Connect, and then link those to the respective objects within my project. So to view the output, I'll open up Trimble Connect Web. We can see these four folders that are created by the tool. The files are then stored within those respective folders. And then we can come over here and view the model. If I click on Model Attachments, it will load in all of the model attachments that are available in the model, and I can begin interacting with these documents and the model. If I choose one of these and highlight the PDF or the attachment, it will highlight those model objects in my project so that I can easily see what's shown on there. So here in yellow is what's shown on this E2 PDF. This is an elevation view of that particular elevation that we're looking at right here. And you can see those objects highlighted there in the model. If I select on an individual object here, I can come over to the attachments and this will load in the PDF or CNC files or whatever I've attached to this individual object and allow me to view those. So here I can see the plan drawing E1, I can see the elevation drawing E2, and then the CNC file for that piece there. If we take a look over at Trimble Connect Desktop, this will show me all of the objects in the model that have documents linked to them. So you can see these little thumbnails here. I can toggle those on or off depending upon how I want to view things. And I can begin doing the same thing. If I select an object and right click, I can view the PDFs or attachments, the CNC files that are attached to this. I can click on column and it will also show me these here in the files. I can click on these to launch and view those. And then I can also change my selection mode from a part to assembly. And I can choose the assembly and here I'll be able to see the assembly PDF listed in the right click menu or over here on the right hand column menu. So what this extension allows you to do is to deliver a fully connected 3D model with the drawings and CNC files or IFC files linked to it so that it can be consumed or used by other people that you want to share with on the project. For a more detailed tutorial of how this extension works, please view the video that is linked at the end of this video. And as always, we hope you enjoy this new development.